Kevin Feige has said something very ambitious, but also incredibly hilarious. Apparently, he believes that uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe can last for another 80 plus years. And he is basing this uh, piece of wisdom on the fact that comic books have also been around for 80 plus years. Yeah, I think uh, at this point, people can remain disinterested longer than you can stay solvent, Kevin. Uh, looking at what happened with the comic books after Endgame, I think you should take a break. I think you should take a little break. Um, it's not just, you know, the wokeness that's a problem, which is, but it's also the fact that uh, people are overly saturated with comic book movies, especially since actors also grow old and a lot of people aren't buying into the new actors that you're having. But, you know, I, I'm not going to hold it against Kevin Feige. I mean, it's his job to shill. Like, he's literally a patient, like, literally. Like, de facto a paid shell. So, of course, he's going to say stuff like this. But, again, I, I do not think that it's going to work. I think that a lot of people were watching Marvel because uh, it was the story building up to the end game. And after that, they dropped the ball. I mean, you, you get the wokeness from the comic books sipping into the big screen, onto the cinematic universe. Uh, you pushed it with TV shows. A lot of people were unfortunate enough to see She-Hulk and, and other... Uh, you know, TV shows that the critics were absolutely uh, enamored by, but when you look at uh, Rotten Tomatoes, you see that the audience just wasn't there. You know, it's like, oh, well, She-Hulk is for female empowerment. Kind of hard to empower women when they're not watching it. But even the women weren't watching. Right? You can't say, oh, misogynism. No one is watching these things. So, people are disinterested. They don't even hate them anymore. Like, you, you're looking at uh, Twitter, you're looking at everything, and people just don't talk about these things. Uh, what what was the the last uh, movie that they pushed? Uh, Miss Marvel. I haven't heard anyone say anything about it, negative or positive. Like that's even worse, because when people say negative things, they're still passionate about it. I right? like love and hate. They're not opposite to each other. It's still things of passion. Love and indifference is opposite. Like, so maybe once artificial intelligence starts writing movies, because if you look at AI art, it's not really Lord's work when it comes to drawings. But, like, uh, it, it could probably be something that uh, would help improve movies dramatically if uh, you would get an actually good AI to write the script and you could separate it from the political correctness bullshit and just focus on making a good story. And then maybe you'll have, like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe lasting for 80-plus years. Uh, but other than that, no, I don't think that's the case. I think uh, Hollywood is going to move on to a different topic. You know, like, there used to be a time when it was all about zombies... And then it moved and it's all about superheroes. So I don't know what's going to be next. I mean, there used to be a time when it was all about Westerns. So I do expect that there's going to be a really good movie, which uh, is going to raise the bar and it's going to be of a completely different medium. And then we're going to see only movies from that medium. I, I don't think that we're going to see superhero movies for the next 80 plus years. Good God. Like, can, can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Like, e even if it wasn't Marvel, I, I'm a little bit tired of superheroes. I want something fresh. You know, how about we go to space? How we got to get some spaceships going? Or hell, you know, at this point, maybe we're going to see some manga and anime. Although, they don't really translate that good on the screen. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.